individual. I don't feel comfortable going to come to school anymore. <laughs> Even if they give a, a gun to a teacher, I wouldn't feel comfortable. Because you never know, like, they're having, like, problems at home. And they just, like, think about just shooting, like, the student, if they're like disrespecting and stuff like that, because there's a lot of students that are like really disrespectful in the school. And they'll like cuss the teacher out for no reason. And I'm just like, who raised you? What's wrong with you? And um, yeah, I don't feel comfortable in school. I mean, I'm not worried because I don't think it's gonna happen here. Because I mean, we do got school police here, and um, we. Well, the, the staff do like random searches, so they're probably gonna find a person who has a weapon or something um, on them, and so that's why I'm not worried. They have school police next door, literally in the school, so I don't think anyone would be really brave enough to um, go through with something like that, especially somewhere deep as in South Central or like Mid City. So I don't really think it's something I have to worry about. Although, Last semester, there was someone who brought a gun to the school, so... They just had a lockdown, and my sister was like sitting right next to me. I never thought like somebody would come, feeling like normal, coming to school with a gun and just like kill somebody without like them doing anything to them. It's just like really scary. All I remember was hearing uh, the announcement go off saying everyone stay in your rooms, uh, lock the doors, and then uh, we were in this class actually when it all happened and the person with the gun was in the class below. We're going to do a poem related to our topics here. Uh, it's the last election we're going to look at uh, from the society, right? Uh, the first semester is, is an expo comp class. In that one, it's all nonfiction and very controversial issues like racial profiling, juvenile justice. Yeah, you have these general themes of like society and you know, why, why does it have so much trouble kind of uh, agreeing with their perspectives? That's the, like the big initial question. There was already a guy that was a gun. They didn't keep the shooter from coming on campus. All the shootings that have happened, they know there's security with guns, and that stopped them from going on campus. In, uh, in Dick's Sporting Goods, they actually took off the, the AR-15s, the one that the Nicholas Cruz guy used in Florida. That's his name, Nicholas Cruz. Yeah. Nicholas Cruz, yeah. And um, you know what, like, what I was thinking about like, right now is uh, like, AR-15s, like assault rifles, they were, you could actually buy one when you were 18, but a pistol you could buy until you are 21. Yeah. And the guy who did the shooting was 18 or not? 19. Oh, he was 19. Yeah. And they raise it up to the age 21. What if he was 21? Then they were going to raise it up to what age? Right. Like it just, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense if they just raise the age three. He's basically like making us feel comfortable and letting us like speak about like how we feel, like on what's going on. I feel like that's how students learn the best when there's like communication and we get to share our opinions. This class has only like really had major debates. Like when they would finally pay attention in class and understand that these issues are directed towards them and they need to like be aware of it, but like other than that, like no one really cares. No one really like has the nerve to talk and stuff like that. Like if someone's excited for something, then everybody else will be excited. If somebody's like lazy and doesn't want to do anything, then everybody else is gonna be like that. If you personalize whatever, you know, Shakespeare to them there is more participation, they, they connect with it, and then, and then that I think is the biggest, the biggest thing, right? The, the students that don't participate is like they feel uncomfortable, like they feel like they're, but I established the rapport early on. We spend a lot of time with that, just so they can feel comfortable and, and say what they want to say. No, I feel like people haven't like come out their shell and don't really like want to share, they feel like they just like, I don't know, maybe they're scared to share their opinion or something. But I feel like people, it's important to get out the shell to, to learn. So it's, you know, it's kind of, it's, it's been building and, and then it just happens that there's a couple students in, in this class that are really 
uh, you know, really active. I don't know if you saw one of the students that was talking, he was, they were making protest signs because there was going to be a protest last Friday after school. A lot of individuals uh, believe that activism only means like protesting, walking out of schools, or just yelling your, your lungs out. But there's more like in depth of that. Um, During lunch, um, the school had placed 17 chairs and desks here to commemorate those who passed away. And I took it upon myself to sit down in the middle and give them their original 17 minutes of silence um, to honor them. And I was sitting in silence and I felt really empowered because individuals randomly started to sit down with me and I felt really empowered because people were starting to realize that I wasn't doing this for myself, I was never doing this for myself, that I was doing it to um, help give other individuals a voice, to help them understand that they are not alone in a struggle. I was telling you that we just watched that documentary yesterday on the, the 50th anniversary of the of, uh, the blowouts, as they used to call them in 1968, right? Uh, and that's what I was laughing about because the students themselves, right? They, they realize, okay, there is maybe a handful of students that really know why they're walking out and they're serious about the issue, whatever it is. But the majority of the other students, they just want to get out of class, right? Protesting is really important and I feel like it does kind of make an impact, but it, it takes more than just like having signs and just walking in the street. It's just been a cycle, I feel like, People like, I feel like people, younger people need to get in politics and just push it instead of just saying something.